Hey everyone, so this video is going to be a little different. I'm just testing out a new camera setup. Uh, so I'm just going to be drawing on my desk and then I've also got an overhead camera and also two really bright lights that are shining down so you'll be able to see all the details when I'm drawing. And yeah, I just thought it would be good to have a really casual style video that I want to experiment with uh, where you just see me sketching and try to figure things out. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, so before I start, I should actually tell you guys what I'm actually drawing. Wow, who would have thought that? Um, so basically, I'm drawing um, a Patreon supporter of mine. He's reached the second Lifetime Pledge Reward. So if you guys don't know, a Lifetime Pledge Reward is something that I've kind of created as extra for my Patreon supporters that stick around. And then if you reach the next level after that, I draw your avatar, but then in a more detailed style. So uh, that's what I'm doing today. The interesting thing is though, it's been so long since I've drawn like in a detailed style. So I don't know if this is gonna turn out good. Let's see. Anyway, so I already, um, You know what, I'm not going to talk, I'm just going to draw. So I kind of know... The silhouette or the shape that I'm going for. And that's all I want to get out of this. This is terrible. Okay, no. <laughs> Start again. Start again. Okay. That was really bad. I'm so rusty. Okay, I just need to draw. Uh, I'm gonna just start with like mini figures. Really mini figures. Didn't work, it chopped off. I should probably zoom this in. Here we go. So I kind of want to draw this guy like with big gun. Okay. okay guys, I'm back. Um, that was just a huge fail. So I was trying to draw while having the camera on and I was just failing miserably and then I thought to myself just to abandon this entire video because it just wasn't working out and I just hadn't planned anything out so I didn't know what I was doing. Um, but I spent maybe like a couple, maybe 30 minutes doodling around and playing with ideas. Um, and I think I have something, so all is not lost. Um, I mentioned that this was a drawing for a Patreon supporter, um, and I've already done a drawing of this supporter before in the cute style, so like this kind of style, um, and I'll put the image up there for you guys to see. But basically, um, his name is Beamerkun, and he's like a software programmer, he loves beer, and he's um, into photography, so in the drawing I've tried to include a lot of those things into um, the illustration. The thing that I really like about this one is the proportion of the anatomy. So you can see like in his feet, like they're really really big and chunky. Um, again here in his like hand I'm going to make it really big. And I guess the inspiration behind this was kind of like um, 
some of the later Street Fighter video games, like they have like these really strong proportions, um, heavy arms and you know huge like hulking sized bodies, and I kind of wanted that sense with Beamakon's character. And the idea behind this guy is that he's going to be kind of hovering in in air. Um, so yes, the jetpack's going to be in use, but it's, he's just not going to be like bursting through the sky. He's just going to be kind of hovering there and have like a nice background with some clouds and the sun and just looking really, really cool. And um, I mean, I think it's going to be look awesome as an avatar or something like a symbol that he can use on like, you know, his social media and stuff like that. So in case it wasn't obvious, this isn't the final sketch. Like I'm not going to just give this to him. It looks really dodgy. Um, but what I'm going to do is take a photo of it and then bring it into Photoshop and detail out the final drawing using my Wacom tablet um, and it's going to look really good. But I'm not going to do that now, I'm going to do that tomorrow night because right now it's really late and I need to get up early tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. And we're back, so let's get straight into it. So, okay, this is the sketch that I took a photo of yesterday, I'm going to take that into Photoshop. And it's upside down, so we need to just rotate it. The most important thing in this entire workflow that I want to show you guys is how important a thumbnail is, first of all. Because when you're working with a thumbnail, there's low pressure and you can just kind of let your, your strokes flow freely and you can just capture the dynamics of what you want to draw. Um, the problems come up when you start to refine that or detail it or in this case uh, digitize it and trace it. Um, if you trace too accurately or if you're too rigid with your tracing, um, you lose all the dynamism of the image. So the idea here is just to have a rough kind of ghost of what you want and then use that as a guideline but it's, it's not a rule, it's just a guide and um, the important thing is to maintain like your flowing strokes and um, keep the energy going. So I know I said like the goal of this drawing like at this stage is to maintain the energy and the way to really test that is that once you've outlined the shapes, which is what we've done here, if we turn off the original sketch, if our new sketch still holds up, then we're good to go. And if not, then, well, it's back to the drawing board. So, here we go. One moment of truth. One, two, actually, I'm just gonna... Ta-da! Okay, um... Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? It doesn't look as cool as I thought. I think it's still there, we, we can still work with this. Um, I just need to... So, now that I've turned off the sketch, it looks like his armor has disappeared. And I need to draw a bit of that in. Um, I think... I mean, and I think this is one of the reasons why it's so important to turn off the original sketch really early, because when you're referencing or tracing over the original sketch, you just want to hold on to it so much, but the faster you turn it off, the faster you just see all the errors and you just have to deal with them. Um, so, the, yeah, like right now it doesn't look as epic. He kind of just, I don't know, he just doesn't look as cool for some reason. I think I need to just, maybe he's a little too chunky. And I think I need to, Maybe it needs to emphasize like the whole flying kind of thing. Now we're going to figure out the details. Let's see. I think it's still okay. Like I think if we keep working with it, it's going to look good. One of the reasons he doesn't look as dynamic anymore is because his midsection is just really thick. And I need to kind of pull that in. It's like really subtle things, but like, like carry that. And then I think the belt angle needs to be more like you know, his leg. This leg should be bent more. Okay. Uh, so 
<laughs> right now what you're seeing is like the magic of digital tools. Like you don't have to be good at anatomy, just use digital tools to reshape it. <laughs> That's terrible advice. Um, always study anatomy. Now Bimicon, I know you have shortish hair, but I'm going to give it, make it a bit longer, just so we have a bit of wind going on there. I'm going to do the whole face actually, let's just do it. For me, face is like the easiest thing, they're just automatic. Um, and it wasn't always like this, like there was a time when faces drove me crazy, like I just could not draw them. And that's why I like, that's kind of what put me on this path, just to be obsessed with drawing faces. And I literally, that's all I would draw. And it was, it kind of went in the reverse direction where I just became really dependent on only being able to draw faces. Okay, that's, that's looking pretty sweet. Okay, let's keep going. Um, I might just shut up for now and just draw, so goodbye. <laughs>
Hey guys, so that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, this casual look into the way I design characters and sketch things. Um, I kind of touched on a lot of different things, but if you want me to go into detail into a certain aspect and do a tutorial, uh, let me know. It could be like uh, drawing faces, uh, drawing armor, drawing characters. Um, just let me know in the comments below. And if you really like this sketch and you want one of these for yourself, um, please go check out my Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash jwalkerpictures. And if you reach the lifetime pledge amounts, then these are the kinds of rewards you're going to get. If you prefer to get something physical back in return, um, please check out my merch store, which is jwalkerpictures.com and you can get, you know, like t-shirts, um, phone cases and other good stuff. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.